This is a quick demo of our Workboard and Jira integration. If you're not already familiar with Jira, Jira is a bug and ticketing tracking software that allows you to take work items and organize them. Uh, here you can see there's a list of work items. They all have names. You can add descriptions, get people to comment, assign them to people, track how long they're taking to create, look at them, etc. It's a pretty nice software. It's been around for a little bit. Uh, you may have a large set of these items that relate to objectives and OKRs. Uh, so for example, here in Workboard, you might have an OKR that says something like, deliver all Jira work items allocated for DigiPay or digital payment system. And you may want to automate the key result to come from DigiPay. In order to do that, you can uh, change your measurement type and select pull data from external applications. And from here, select our Jira integration. I'd like to use a different, uh, a different uh, login. So I'll walk you through the login setup process. Here, it's gonna ask me for my Jira public URL, although we also support signing in with OAuth. If you have a custom domain, you add in the custom domain URL there, otherwise you would support signing in uh, just with that typical URL. Here, uh, I need to get the URL for my work, uh, Atlassian instance. And so I'm gonna select it from Jira. And then I need to get my username and a personal access token. I don't uh, have a personal access token for this demo account. Uh, so I'll need to create one. In order to create one, I'm gonna go up to my profile and I'm gonna select manage account. And generally, personal access tokens are kept under the security section. And here you can see there's a section called API tokens. I'm going to create and manage API code tokens. These are all the personal access tokens I've created. Personal access tokens basically act on a user's behalf and work very similarly to OAuth, but uh, are really make programmatic access a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and create an API token. And I'll just call this. Um, demo test. I'll go ahead and create it. And generally, the tokens are uh, hidden, and you only get to access them once. And this is because they're used specifically to set up external systems. Uh, so we'll go ahead and copy this. We're going to come over to our objectives and key results. I'm going to paste the personal access token here, and I'm going to enter in the username for my account. I'm going to click sign in. Now that I've signed in, I can select how I want to pull data from Jira using this key result. There's two ways I can pull data. I can use our query builder or our advanced JQL. So in this case, I'm looking to deliver all work items allocated for DigiPay. So if I go to my filters, I can say that there is a set of items that relate to DigiPay. So let's see what I can find using this query builder. Here I can see that there's a project related to, Dimi, uh, to um, DigiPay. And Let's say that I don't want all the items in the, DG, the DigiPay. Maybe I only want items that are not currently in our backlog. So coming back to Workboard, uh, I will select everything except for the ones that are not in my backlog. Those ones I'm not as interested in. And I can calculate progress either by looking at the number of total stories there are or by looking at the story points. So if these items have story points associated with them, then uh, to allocate, to count for the total time that it would take to work on a particular project, we allow you to pull in that information and we can calculate your progress by, uh, by story points rather than by a simple count. Here we can preview our results and we can see that there's 15 items allocated for this. And we can just do a quick sanity check here. And there should be 15 items here. However, um, sometimes you may have a large set of complex queries that you don't necessarily want to 
uh, that you don't necessarily want to set up. So in order to allocate a larger set of complex queries, you may want to use this advanced JQL option. And in this advanced JQL option, what you're going to do is you're going to come in to your Jira instance. You can build everything using the basic, uh, the basic user interface, which has a, any field that you have the possibility to filter on, epic name, uh, and you can type in, there's great type ahead functionality. And we encourage everybody to use this Jira user interface in order to build their advanced JQL option. Uh, so by starting with this user interface and selecting dropdowns, you can build a custom set of tickets, select switch to JQL, and Jira will produce the JQL for you. And all you have to do is come in here and select it and paste it in here. You'll also notice that there are two fields. The first field says JQL query for issues that count as completed and JQL query for all issues. We're going to go ahead and put our query into JQL query for issues that count as completed because as you can see if you just put it in the, uh, the bottom box nothing happens. By putting two boxes here. What we allow you to do is to calculate progress uh, progress percentages by a percentage of custom issues that are completed out of a total number of custom issues. So you can put any JQL, any valid JQL in this bottom box and any valid JQL in this top box. Say if you wanted to have two separate queries that had slightly different statuses listed here or uh, potentially people assigned to them you wanted to have uh, like to see the amount of work you had completed out of everybody then we allow you to put two separate custom queries in here and whenever we calculate progress percentage we will choose this top box the data returned from this top box compared to the denominator and I can demo that for you real fast here so in fact here let's say I don't just want the ones that are selected as, as in progress. I also want the ones that are contained in the backlog. What I'll do is I'll select my JQL and we can see there's 25 of these items and I'll go ahead and put them in here and I'll select preview results. And now you can see there's both a numerator and a denominator returned. So I'm going to go ahead and save this query. And I'll go ahead and there was some previous data that I was using here um, and whenever we have previous data we like to ask you if you want to save uh, the key result with the new data type selected or do you want to remove the data. In this case I want to remove the historical key result updates and start fresh. Select save and we'll be done editing this. And now you can see that my data is logged here in this item. And that's a quick demo of our key result Jira integration. However, there's another Jira integration that we have that can be very helpful, which is our Jira plugin. Our Jira plugin is basically an app that allows you to see what your key results are in Jira without having to go into Workboard. So if you're working out of Jira the majority of time and you don't want to constantly have to open up Workboard, one of the things that can be really helpful is to see which, your key re which key results and objectives your teams are working on in order to see how your work relates to that. To do that, you simply go to Apps, select My Workboard, and you will be able to see a list of OKRs that you own and a list of OKRs that your manager, your manager owns. In this case, we can see that there's a list of items called DigiPay is delightfully fast for our customers. So we know that all of these items that we're working on relates to this DigiPay is delightfully fast for our customers account. And you can see there's particular key results that are based on off of this. So in fact, these key results can be automated. We'll see if I have access to them. These key results, I don't have access to them in this demo account, but these key results can be automated using our integration setup so that you can not just take a look at what the objectives and key results are, but you can also take a look at 
the progress made towards them as a byproduct of the work that you're doing in Jira. So our new Jira plugin here allows you to get a better view of the objectives and key results that your Jira work is supposed to be related to after you've integrated. Great. Thanks for watching this quick demo of our Jira integration.